Hi everyone, it's holiday season and that means family dinners and tons of sides and we all know that sides are the best part. So instead of the same stuffing every year, give this a try. Pretzels, pastrami, Swiss and sauerkraut, it's sure to be a crowd pleaser. Let's start with cutting our pretzels into pieces and baking them at 325 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes or until they're hard. Then we can cut our celery, cut the red onions, cut the garlic cloves, cut our parsley, and then we just need to cut our Swiss and pastrami into cubes. I had the deli counter slice me at each one at about a quarter inch thick. The next thing we need to do is toast our mustard seeds in the butter. We just want to cook these until they start to get a little soft. Add in our vegetables, and we just want to cook these until they start to get tender. Add the soft vegetables, butter, and mustard seeds to the hard pretzels. Add the pastrami, and we're also going to add some sauerkraut to give this a little extra tang to it. Add the parsley, and make sure you save a little bit to garnish at the end. We also want to add in our Swiss cheese. Add the eggs and mix everything together. The last thing we need to add is our chicken stock and then mix everything together. Don't forget to double check your seasoning. Mine was already salty and peppery enough from the pastrami and the sauerkraut so I didn't have to re-season but just make sure you double check it. Then we just need to put the stuffing into a baking dish. I like to let this sit for like 12 hours in the refrigerator covered so that way everything has a chance to rehydrate. The pretzels are nice and soft now from sitting overnight. Now we can go ahead and bake it. I like to cover my stuffing with plastic wrap and aluminum foil when I bake it. This is just going to make sure that everything stays nice and moist. Then we just need to bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes or you hit an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And here's our finished dish. Pretzel stuffing with pastrami Swiss, sauerkraut and mustard. This is like eating a Reuben casserole all in one bite. Thanks for watching my video on how to make this non-traditional stuffing with pretzels and pastrami. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Have a safe and happy holiday, and see you next time. Thank you.